What was that? What'd you say? You want to meet your ancestors today? Ah, well, I think we can arrange that. Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Tavares. Welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. Today, we've got three tractors. They're blue, they're Ford, and they're from the 90s. Let's get into it. Not that way we don't. Tractors. We've got the Ford 6640 four-wheel drive. We have the 7840 four-wheel drive, and we have the 8340 four-wheel drive. All four tractors there, 1210, 331, and 34250, 60, $60, 105, and 115 to own. Interesting prices. Uh, in 1998, the 6640 would have th sold for $33,400. So that's a heavily used Ford. Now, 7840 in 1996 would have sold for $33,650. So apparently that one's barely been used. And an 8340 would have sold in 1997 for $43,500. So it's like medium use. It's interesting. Also, I'm seeing the horsepower is uprated on all of them. Uh, 6640 would have been 76 horsepower. This would have been 90 horsepower. And this would have been 106. But we're seeing 125, 105, and 85. So, well. Uh, you know, they're uprated. They're uprated. That's all according to tractor data. So if tractor data is wrong, then I'm wrong because, well, there you go. All right, we've got those. I need our tester. I keep having to rebuy this because I keep selling everything. So, uh, all right, there we go. Nice looking Fords. They're blue. It's a good start. All right, let's check it out. Power Star SLE. Ooh, we can open the door. Yeah, buddy. All right, anything else we got around here? Walking around. We can open the door behind me. Woo, I'm magical. My butt opens doors. All right, is that door open? Looking good, looking good. All good looking tractors, let's get inside. All right, let's turn on the IC. What do we got here? We can open that door. Open there, that's that there. I can open up my back window. So not nearly the amount that we have in some of the other tractors. All right, our gauges work. That's all good. Our beacon flashes. Our leaders of fuel. Holy moly. Ah, it's still in leaders. Why is it still in leaders? That actually might be closer to reality. It's 25 gallons for this one, 58 gallons for the other two. So if the other two... Um, don't increase our gallons, and we have a problem. All right, let's make sure we don't have a front hitch on here, an Invisa hitch. I hate Invisa hitches. Nope, no Invisa hitch there. Good looking tractor overall. Unless you hate Fords, but hey, if you do, well, I don't know why you're watching this. All right, we got this hooked up. Looks good on there. Looks good. All right. Cool. All right, we did test the beacon, right? I didn't remember, but we tested it again. Nice, and turn signals, yes. All right, so this guy should have more fuel, and it does, woo! Different engine note, double beacons. Yep. Much, uh, much beefier noise there. So basically the body and the interior looks to be the same. They made some adaptations Lord. to the exterior slightly for size and stuff like that. But all right, I mean, this is, this is good looking tractors. Uh, I remember some early Fords I did way back in 13 that were just a nightmare and a half. All right, so this one uses the same noise as the other one. Why did the little one use a different noise? I don't know. So it looks like everything is going to be the same on these. Now, here's where I'm going to start picking on these tractors a little bit. Now these are port overs from 13. The mod team that you did them no longer does modding. So the only way they were gonna come over is if somebody did a port over. But, let's hop out for a minute. Cosmetically, they look okay. 
but here's where I'm going to pick on things. Uh, the coloration of the chassis versus the the bonnet or hood, if you will, uh, kind of bums me out. I don't like that weird looking color down there. And really, I have to ask the question, what do I get for out of these that I can't get out of some of the other tractors? So you look, we've looked at some of these uh, John Deere's, uh, Fence, stuff like that, that have a whole lot of operational pieces and bits and bobs, and those are really amazing. Not to say these are bad tractors, but to say that the bar is really high, and these ones don't clear the high hurdle. These ones clear the pretty good hurdle to pretty darn good hurdle probably somewhere in that middle range there not bad not bad if you need four tractors if you're looking for classic forge from the 90s you're not going to go wrong with these three the link to the pack is in the description short video because the tractors are all the same i thought they were going to be slightly different but they're actually identical models of each other huh, how about them apples until next time, remember, you can call Ford whatever acronym you want, but these aren't bad tractors. So if you need them, get them. Woohoo!